No babies. <laughs> Today's activity is called friendship. So today we're going to be making friendship bracelets. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so what you're going to need for this craft are embroidery floss, scissors, and tape. You can use tape if you're on a table or you can use a safety pin if you are doing this like on your couch and just kind of shove it in there. Something to hold it. Um, or hold a book. It. A little end down. Yeah, that's true. You can stick it in book and whatever. I'm more about the aggressive things that you can do. You can stab things with it. All kinds of fun stuff. Now, we really don't know what we're doing. Um, so we're going to be making a lot of mistakes, which is exciting. <laughs> but it goes along with our theme of summer camp, which is there are no wrongs in summer camp. Mm -hmm. Just have fun. Just have fun. Be creative. <laughs> just have fun. Like so, baby. Scout. I said that colors. And I'm also weighing it because I don't know how to make a friendship bracelet. I've never done this one before in my life. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and I'm going to do a friendship bracelet that I love because it's super easy. And that's what this is all about, is not trying to be too complicated. I mean, you can. There are a bazillion YouTube channels that will show you how to make like these really cool bracelets. But we are all about little space and like <laughs> what you do when you're either feeling like poo or you just want to be little and you can barely function. Because babies can't follow babies directions. Can't, no. Not unless their big helps them. You guys can't follow directions. <laughs> <laughs> so. Put this away from scout. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is first pick your, so this is em called embroidery floss or we call it string stuff. Um, stringy things. And you can get these anywhere. Um, at Michael's, Joann's, Amazon. Yeah. Walmart. Walmart. Three of us at three of us caregivers um, at Little Baby Boo have autoimmune issues. So a lot of what we do is going to be like super either low key or easy to do if like your hands aren't working, stuff like that. Or you'll see us on film and we are exhausted. That's why. I usually start off with going like three times this size. That's what I remember. It could be that you're supposed to only go twice, but let's, you know, let's just make a huge long one because you can always wrap it around your wrist a few times or create a necklace or something. Is that what I'm supposed to do? That's what I'm doing. I don't know. Go for it. <laughs> See what happens. I'm just make two. Things. If it's like super loud, if it's super long, you could just make two. That's true. Because there are no wrongs. I'm using colors of flags. I'm sure a lot of you recognize these colors. What flags are they? <laughs> this is the gay flag. Woohoo! This is the trans flag. Woohoo! Both flags I love and adore. I think I'm very pregnant. So I'm making them Did into... Did you say you think you might be pregnant? No, I think, <laughs> I think they're pretty. <laughs> I was like... I... So first you start off by measuring. I tend to measure the length of my arm. I go from here all the way to the inside of my elbow and do that three times. And then I have my template string. My inspiration is the ABDL flag. So you want to grab, you can do it with however many strings you like, but the more strings you have, the thicker it'll be. I tend to go with four different colors because um, that lends itself to eight because I end up folding this over. Babies, be careful with these scissors. Usually, you're going to need to get permission to use scissors if you're too little. Sharp things and babies do not mix. So once you have all four of your strings, this super long length, you are going to want to kind of fold it in half. And with this little section, you can twist it. And then once you twist it, you're going to create a little knot right there. And you can have it a little bit longer, but I try and get mine a little bit smaller because this is going to be the loop that your um, your button goes through. So once you have your little loop, you can take some tape. So this is one that I did actually in this um, recording. Whichever color you'd like to be at the top is which color you choose here. If we're emulating that pin, we're going to want to start off with the blue. So babies, since this is called the Naughty Fours, what do you think we do? We're going to create a number four. 
Some of you may not know what a number four is, but it's the one that looks like this. See? It's just a four. And it goes over all of the other strings. And this four is so naughty that it comes back around and it grabs hold of all these other strings around back. And then it comes inside. And you just pull it up. Boop. And there's your first knot. So the next one is, strangely enough, another four. Oh, uh, occurred. It's his twin brother four. So you go ahead and pull it back through, back behind all the other strings, and in through the four, and then pull it up. And I like to do 10 little knots or 10 little fours, and that creates about this, this length. If you want it longer, then you just do it 5, 10 knots more. But I think that this is a pretty good little length there. So then you just keep doing your fours. And when it comes time where it's kind of doing this, you just kind of pull it through over the side. And then you start your fours. It is not difficult, which is why I like it. So here we are. We're at the tenth knot. Then we pull this string in with all the rest. We choose which color we want to go with. And I think that I'm going to be crazy and go with the red one. Because Mommy Black is crazy loca. Loca in the coca. So then it's super easy. You just pick up the red string and you start making your fours like this. It's a crazy red four. And then he sneaks back through. Boop. And he impales himself. <laughs> Naughty four. Why are you impaling yourself? You're so crazy. See now this one, I wasn't really paying attention so it's kind of, it's not as pretty as that first one but you can just kind of twist it a little, little and it'll It'll wrap around like it's supposed to. Be careful at the bottom as you're working to make sure that these aren't getting tangled as you go along. Another thing that I like about this particular friendship bracelet is that it's very forgiving. So if you miss one or two down, it doesn't really matter. I don't think anyone's going to be coming around looking at your bracelet, thinking, this isn't perfect. I mean, they might, but babies, be wary of people who come up to you saying that your bracelet isn't even. Okay, just kind of run from those people. Words of wisdom to live by. Okay, so now we've done all four colors, right? So now we're going back to blue. When you go to the next blue, though, you remember you took and used one of the strings. So you're gonna to wanna to go for the other string, the longer string in this next round. Otherwise you'll end up with a little tiny baby string at the end <laughs> and the rest are gonna be long. Just a baby string. And if you see any string in between any of these, you can just kind of shove it up. They're pretty pliable. And again, for the red one, we go with the longer string and you can even do something where, like, say you want to do it where the blue and the pink are longer. You can extend the blue, like, say, 20 knots, and then do a small red, small white, small red, which is what we can do now. So instead of doing the next one, which would be red, right now I think I'm just going to continue on and make a longer one that kind of looks more like that. And you can mix and match. Nothing needs to be perfect. There's no perfection in summer camp. It's all about experimenting and being creative. Okay, so here you're gonna to wanna to kind of measure to see how long it is, if it would fit. This looks like it would fit perfectly. So I'm gonna stop here. You can do a few things to end your bracelet. You can do just a little knot a couple times. You don't have to do much because these are all knotted so they're not gonna come out. You've got your little button. You just basically want to thread one or two of these through here to create a little 
well, button. <laughs> and at this point you can really cut off all the rest of the little fluffy bits because you're not really using them. Um, or you can actually, if you need to extend this, I should show you that. If you need to extend this too, or the wrist is a little bit longer, and I don't feel like doing a lot of this, you can braid this bottom and then attach it. So it's a nice little kind of extra thing. There's so many things, like the world is your oyster babies. Then once you have it on there, you can do a few knots. And once that's on, you clip her. Voila! And here we have the cute, oui, bracelet. Ta-da! Definitely want it longer than your, um, your wrist. Um, so I think twice over should be okay. Yeah, it might be for yours because mine has like you're wrapping it. Like, yeah, mine's just times. braiding. Do I have the scissors, please? <laughs> I'll cut it for you. So if you're big, you want to help. <laughs> right here? Yes, please. Thank you. Your little hole so that they don't stab themselves in the eye. Or you. <laughs> in the eye. Technically, yeah. I care. I give her, but I will yeah, so right. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> For mine, um, you're gonna want to pick six strings. I think. We're gonna see what happens with six strings. I'm doing nine. Yes. But even though that sounds complicated, it's not complicated. I'm braiding and then I'm braiding again and then I'm braiding them all together. There's a lot of braiding, chill braiding. <laughs> That's one of the few things I know how to do. Fire know. colors. <laughs> Related to our, our other craft we've done. <laughs> you almost died from that. I did. I really <laughs> did. <laughs> Don't do that. I know. Too many babies for my love you. Art. I do it for my art. I did not almost mm -hmm. die. I just cut a bunch of stuff. It was very messy though. <laughs> Lots of Yours was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, my tape. This is why I stab things. <laughs> Because <laughs> tape has failed me so often. And now I've lost track of my counting. Everything is ruined. <laughs> Everything is ruined. Oh no. I don't know what any of the knots you're doing are. I just I know that they're just the that they're knots. I they're naughty. <laughs> ah, making the naughty bracelet! Yay! <laughs> naughty four. The naughty four. I just created the name. <laughs> the Naughty Four. Oh my god. Mommy Black. It sounds about correct. It sounds right. It sounds right. It sounds right. It's very right. It sounds good. How much is, how much is braiding? It doesn't bra shorten it that much braiding. It depends on what braid you're doing. Well, Yours good. isn't going to shorten it too much. Yeah, anything. so it'll just be a very long. I mm -hmm. may have made it too long. No. There's never making it too long. There's making it too short, which is uncool. But then you could just make, then it could be a keychain. Happy yeah. accidents. Happy little strings. Happy trees. Happy strings. <laughs> no, that's not right. Sometimes I forget how to braid. <laughs> so, <laughs> they get to figure out that I don't always know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like, I might be a scout leader, but I don't know what the heck is happening. <laughs> okay, so this go there, this go there, this go there, this go there. So for all of you guys who don't know, um, I am a mommy, obviously. <laughs> obviously I'm a mommy. But Scout here is a little and a middle. So she is one of our caregivers at the nursery. She's the older sister to all my littles. She doesn't do caregiving on her own because she's a middle and Watching kids. Well, I guess babysitters. Like short term stints. Oh, yeah. I've watched babies in short, very short term. Yeah. But, um, I'm never usually alone. Mm -mm. <laughs> She'll get into trouble. You'll eat way too much sugar and then they'll yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> because true. I really like to give babies sugar. Because babies are so <laughs> sweet, so they should have sugar. And I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> What I'm doing. <laughs> and I think that's cute because it is all about being in little space and like, who 
oopsie. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like wrapped this around somehow because I wasn't paying attention. Um, sometimes it's about, you know, creating fun, weird things that, that when you look back on it, it reminds you, wait, no, that was, I did that when I was in little space. Oops. So it's even kind of cuter. It's not perfect. Just like when you get a, um, a present from like a niece, um, a nephew or one of your kids, like, um, it's adorable because they did it. And you know that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> You're like, oh, cute. Yeah. So, is, is it a I giraffe or what is it? They're like, it's a pony. <laughs> so You're like, oh, <laughs> it's you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so some of our favorite things that we get in the nursery um, when we do competitions is the stuff that's all like wonky and childlike because it's just freaking adorable. I mean, in the gingerbread contest that we did for a thing, one of our favorites was one that had a bit bike kick in it. I just, I couldn't, it was too cute. We saw it and we're like, <laughs> like oh my god. <laughs> it was like. I usually do this while I'm watching TV. Oh. The one time that I've done it in the past year, 15 years. That's this weird love-hate relationship with crafting. Mm -hmm. I both love it, but I hate it at the same time because sometimes mm -hmm. it doesn't do the thing I want it to do and it gets just out. Mm. I'm just like, my perfectionist self doesn't let me relax. that kind of comes together and it's yeah. super colorful and it matches everything. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yay. And you're so, doing your rat tail? <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Naughty Fours, as I was going to explain it as. So while we were doing this, Mommy Boo and Mama Buttercup showed up and want to partake in the friendship bracelets, but I don't know, after some sass, <laughs> if I can find a rat tail. I just remember the kids who had mullets and used to I do know. that. Too. I thought that was coming back. <laughs> Are they? It is. No. It is. So we're all going to have like young Anakin Skywalker have one of those. So. We did. Next, <laughs> yes. how to make a rat tail <laughs> from the little baby boo nursery. <laughs> all right. So here we have Mommy Boo. Hi. Hi, Boo. Hi. Ma Hi. <laughs> Mama Buttercup. <laughs> Bam. Have joined us in our friendship bracelet making. Yay. Yay. Friendship. Yay. Friendship. Yay. friendship. Friendship. So Boo, tell us about the friendship bracelet you're going to be making. Well, Thank you for asking. My friendship bracelet's gonna have not only some pinks and some pale colors, but I'm also putting some, um, like a little bit of burgundy in there. And pink because I love hearts and I love pink and pink flowers, I think. And then I put the burgundy in it just to see how a little bit of a darker color goes with it. A little zhuzh. A little zhuzh. Just a bit of zhuzh. Thank you. Gonna just do a simple braid. Nice. How about y'all? The Bray Twins! <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm doing more of a traditional uh, friendship bracelet, the kind where you've got three alternating colors. Uh, orange, blue, and yellow mm -hmm. have, for some reason, I just like the way they go together. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. So we only have one more week of summer camp. We've had so much fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Summer camp's been really exciting. That's what I was telling Scout. Like, it's nice because, like, normally during crafting, I'm a little more stressed out because it's like has to be like perfect or it mm -hmm. has to be like whatever. But this has been kind of fun because it's been so fast. Like, we have to do it quickly. I so know. it's like just do, just do it. And so it kind of does get just that kind of like done. getting it done. It's like, oh, well, that's fun. And even if it doesn't turn out like as magical as you want it to, it's still really fun. Magic in its own way. Exactly. Nice. Uh, this is always going to be associated with summer camp. Exactly, summer camp. Exactly. Ow! I just basically assaulted my boo. Oh, God, the horror. <laughs>
ended it from the middle and now I'm making a knot at the middle. And there we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. Ooh. See how it kind of twists? Nice. Yes. yes. All right. Like this, like that, and like this end up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a figure four. You knot it and you pull it up. Once more, figure four. You pull this part through. It's making a knot. And then you hold this tight and you slide it up all along every strand. How many times each strand? I'm doing it twice. You can do it once, but I think it looks better when you do it twice. So, just like that. If you do it like this and it looks funky, you pull the bottom one and slide up. There we go. And that's how you do it. So yeah. I hope you all are gonna follow along at home and make your own friendship bracelets. Because they're so much fun and they look really pretty. Or they look really manly if you use dark colors. <laughs> <laughs> I know the original 50. <laughs> when I was a young Mort Hog, <laughs> my camper kids, who I aforementioned that I was a camp counselor, they were into Pokemon and they got me into Pokemon. And we had those Tamagotchis where if you let them just. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tamagotchis, man, Tamagotchis. I remember those. <laughs> you, if you didn't feed them, they'd die. That should make awful. Yeah, they got Tamagotchis, a little toy, and you had to they feed have, them at certain times. They have Tamagotchi as an app now. Wow. And that they still stressful. Die. It seems like yes. They still like, die. I have anxiety. <laughs> Jeez. Yes, they are stressful. You have to like pet it, feed it. I have a keychain of one. Yeah. I feel like a new battery for it. But I have You're like, like uh-uh. I have like an old Tamagotchi. I just need to get some batteries for it. Okay. Don't, so, don't do it. Yeah, don't. I mean, don't I, do that. I used to be stuck in a feeding cycle. I used yeah. to have them. I know what I said. But I, uh. <laughs> So, um, how did everyone's campfire go? Mine went so well it burned up before, before I could photograph it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's how well mine went. I almost killed everybody in the house. Really? <laughs> Was it an explosion or? No. You know those plastic pony beads? Yes. Well, I'd seen oh, that you can do that. You just put it yeah. in the oven mm -hmm. and it's supposed to melt together into this perfect perfect, beautiful yeah. thing. I did that, and then it and really smells. Don't do this at home, kids. Yes. Oh. Like plastic fumes and... Again, I like the smell of plastic a little yeah. bit. Like, I like the way a new shower curtain smells, mm -hmm. or like a baby pole, you know, that type of plastic. Mm -hmm. I love vinyl, like new yeah. tablecloths. Uh. Mm -hmm. Remember the smell of the new CDs? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. And then the stuff comes off. And yeah, that's that cellophane. Oh, what's a yeah. CD? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Girl, you know what an A track is. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean. Come on. I had on a record a uh, Disney uh, Donald Duck one, and it was a song called Macho Duck. Yes! yes macho, 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 macho Duck! duck. <laughs> It was the best. I loved it. How did you do that one, Boo? My imagination. Imagination. Just your imagination. I have a vivid imagination. Uh huh. And I thought about this um, <clears throat> tablecloth. Uh okay. And then I thought about what would be a deeper color to hold it down. Oh. And that's that deep stroke. <laughs> Deep, deep <laughs> Running down it. Really, really wow. Dark stroke, seen. kind of like a vein. Exactly. <laughs> Running through it, beating. 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 Jump, jump, jump. Let's go back. We've got the hearts of Tiny steed. I we get, oh yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get you, sister. My noble steed. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We can go the Hold whole, up. the Monty Python route and get some coconuts. coconuts. <laughs> yep, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Are mommies supposed to have this much fun together? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, how do you tie yours? Like I just a tie? Do a regular knot, but I'll do like one, two, three, so it's like extra. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do another square knot around that. And then um do and you then just it'll go tie right it? through here. Oh okay. no, the button that you make out oh, of it. Oh you do a button will too. It'll go right through here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you make a button out of the... Mm -hmm. Out of the... If you don't feel like making a button, you can just put attach a button to one of the little strings and then it becomes, that. you know... I like your button. Thingy. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for watching our... Thank you. ...lovely friendship bracelet. And if not for the current situation, we would probably have everybody exchange friendship bracelets, but because of that, we aren't going to do that. Instead, we are going to take um, four winners from this week from whomever participates, we'll do a random drawing. And so four lucky winners will get one of each of these. The first, <laughs> the first person um, is gonna be the winner for the week. And so they get to pick whomever's they want and then also they get other prizes and stuff like that. So make sure that you participate in what we're doing and that you hashtag with whichever one you're doing. This one is hashtag LBBN friendship. If you want to see the behind yes. the scenes, yes. <laughs> be yes. sure to join our Patreon. Yes. For only $5 you can get a little bit more.